and agriculture news from agview.net. USDA says fiscal year 2021 will be a good year for American farm exports. In the latest quarterly ag forecast, the agency says exports will total $164 billion. That will be the highest total in U.S. history. Ag Secretary Bill Sachs says U.S. ag trade has proven extraordinarily resilient in the face of global pandemics and economic contraction. He said it's clear that trade remains a critical engine powering the agriculture economy and the U.S. economy as a whole. This report projects an increase of $7 million in trade since the February forecast. USDA notes key factors include record export volumes of several commodities like corn, soybean, livestock, poultry, and dairy uh, products. Another major influence is rising demand from China for American products. Kansas Senator Jerry Moran has reintroduced legislation to relax the U.S. trade embargo with Cuba. The neighbor says legislation's goal is to open up another avenue for profit for American farmers and ranchers. Moran says the current regulations are limited revenue streams for farmers, ranchers, and even manufacturers. The unilateral trade embargo to Cuba blocks American farmers, ranchers, and manufacturers, Moran says, from selling into a market that's just 90 miles away from U.S. shores. Moran also says at the same time, foreign competition like China are benefiting from our expense. He said the legislation will expand market opportunities for U.S. producers by allowing them to compete on a level playing field with other countries. Kansas Farm Bureau President Rich Feltz, a studied uh, uh, by the U.S. Trade Commission shows that lifting the embargo could potentially increase exports by 166 percent, bringing an additional $800 million to the U.S. economy. And he said having an opportunity to export things like wheat, corn, and soybeans down to Cuba would be a win for the farming community all across Kansas. That's Ag News. More at agview.net. Stay with us. We'll be right back.